This is vanilla Minecraft, and it's 2022, which means that Minecraft shouldn't look like this. It should look far more realistic. So I've assembled a group of mods that progressively makes the game more and more realistic as we play, until Minecraft truly becomes real life. Let's start with the grass. In real life, grass is not 16 by 16. The rotor blocks texture pack fixes this, not as 32 by 32 or 64 or 128. This texture pack is 1024 by 1024. So real, you could buy it at home. Home Depot. This was worth the $8 purchase only because the first sentence on the download page said, quote, this wholly demolished my GPU. Exactly what I was looking for. Even the green top looks good. Now that we have the fabric of reality out of the way, we can finally expand into some more needed items. Gaming PCs from the Ultimate Immersion mod. Finally, we have things from real life. Couches, bookshelves, so real I can taste it. So far, all of the mods have been released before 2021, but this is the future. The physics mod, which is a physics mod has an update which hasn't been released yet however using my vast supply of money i've acquired the ten dollar patreon subscription now this right here is a normal glass of water but if i take off my shaders and set this down boom future water which can only be spawned in through placing an enchantment table or a wet sponge just the way we like it around here reality can be whatever i want it to be we are one step closer to real life we should also address the problem of not having weather enough weather. I just want, you know, something that's realistic, something that looks nice. That's why I downloaded Deadly Disasters. Earthquakes, tornadoes, acid rain, all the stuff that you want. We're gonna get this place looking like New Orleans in 2005. Go hurricane, acid storm. I'm just gonna do everything. Hey, when in Rome, right guys? Oh, bye. That was a fun 12 seconds. Honey, the rain is coming in. Nope, it's a meteor. I'm gonna give him a few more of these. Hey, did you guys like the weather? Nope, they're dead. They are all dead. And the green top is still standing. They wish they had my ingenuity. Boom. There we go. We'll just make a little bit of a path for them. Just don't trip. Good thing there's nothing else I'm going to add that can get them killed. TNT is an equally important part of the game as weather and water, and is a vast opportunity for dropping my frames per second like nothing else. Luckily, the physics mod also has additions to TNT, and the villagers are loving it. And this thing can really push the boundaries of real life. For example, it, let's make a super flat world of TNT and I'll put up my live GPU temperature and boom we wait I'm gonna go eat dinner. We need better mobs too. And to truly get better mobs, there is only one option. Traditionally, we could get a mod pack like Alex's mobs. You know, we get crocodiles, we've got cod, we've got the lobsters, void worm. And while this is incredibly realistic, we can take this one step further. See, using the blockbuster mod, we can import whatever 3D models we want into Minecraft. So we just go to a random website to download files we know nothing about. And I'm looking for a horse. Volvo S90, boom, add to cart great our first mob oh my god this is the future we need more the international space station the 145 dollars for the international space station that's a steal boom i own it it's mine that's how nfts work let's improve our village boom 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 new villagers uh man <laughs> bargain well i sure love a deal this is it this is real life this is probably what armenia looks like or maybe a nice croatia we've got suit man and bargain man that's their actual names he's got that louis vuitton Ton frog t-shirt and that handsome smile uh, he gets all the ladies oh my god the future is now old man i promised you guys more realistic mobs you know you don't like spiders too blocky you want something more realistic boom burger spider incredible just like real life real life australia i i bet you this exists in australia this is the cornerstone of armenia the centerpiece of its economy but if i didn't want to build armenia i could travel there with the terra mod which allows you to teleport to real places on earth let me just find the coordinates for Armenia. And I type them in, and boom, Armenia. Glorious Armenia. Just as great as I remember it. And using my sheer will and $10, I can acquire the Pip and FTS real life versions of actual places on Earth built in Minecraft. Very impressive. We've got New York City, the Lincoln Park, the Empire State Building. Yet yeah, no green tops and nothing compared to Armenia. North Korea, on the other hand. Oh, 
This is definitely North Korea. Uh, me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking for beans. Uh, we're in the right spot, it's North Korea. This looks like a fun place to hang out with your friends and discuss a diverse range of opinions. I give it a 10 out of 10. The first time I've touched grass in months. Back at our more impressive village, we can throw on some more mods to really punish our frames for second. This is the first person mod. Oh my god, my most drastic change to the game yet. Is this what you wanted? They wanted reality and they got it. You get what you deserve. We can pile on the cork mod too, which is just a update of hundreds of common sense things we can use to bend reality. Abacus, vertical slabs, boomerangs. Get them out of here. We've got sand that falls up. All right, let's see if this will work. Ah, uh, nope. Boom. There's tortoises. The crabs now dance to music. Oh, we have lobsters too. Hold on. You guys know the rules. If you don't dance, you get executed. Fun game we play around here. Oh, no survivors. They accept you, you can say. We have a lot of fun around here. See, it's just a common sense normal update full of realistic things. Let's finish off the physics mod by fully customizing the rest of it. I don't know what any of these do. All right, but oh, that's what I wanted. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Oh no, this was just done by hand. I really wonder what TNT could do to it. All right, we're just gonna start with one. Oh no. You can tell by my lost frames that we're gonna put this to some good use. Okay, I'm gonna carve out this whole area and we're just gonna fill it with TNT. We're gonna see what footage we can salvage out of it. This looks a lot less threatening than it is. This could total my GPU. I am gambling my entire YouTube career on this. Let's be nice to the villagers. Let's put up a wall around them. We gotta keep them safe. Can't risk anything bad happening to them. Great, perfectly protected. All right, let's blow up this village. Who? Uh, oh, oh. Well, that's it. That's all we get. It's like 20 minutes later. I got another frame. Oh, we got another one. Oh my god. I took off my shaders and I got this. What is this? The Matrix. Oh, we got snowballs too. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Where others smell lag, I smell opportunity. Can I break my game just from snowballs? Oh, oh almost one. Zero. There we go. Fishing pole. Oh my god. This is it. Real life. Wow, our village is looking good. I hope they enjoy all the conveniences that we have here in the 21st century. They call me the Industrial Revolution. And to cap off our humanitarian aid to this village, we're gonna do our finale. Clean water. We're finally gonna get rid of it for them. Because if I do a little bit of hacking, boom. Animated water. That's right, I've learned Blender. And now I can insert whatever animations I want into Minecraft. It doesn't get better than this. And I mean that unironically. Just when they thought life couldn't get worse, boom. I learned how to do smoke. We had to level their house for it. It was an operating cost. But he's liking it. Uh, he thinks it's pretty cool. Just kidding, he's homeless. Both of those animations took over 24 hours to render. Granted, that's not supposed to happen. I probably did something wrong. But that right there is how you push Minecraft to its limits. You guys want to see an explosion? You want an explosion? Boom. <laughs> we have truly hit a new low. That one took 36 hours. I promise you, I am not, I'm not exaggerating. This video was supposed to be released a week and a half ago. I have messed up several times. We did it, Patrick. We saved the village and became a town hero along the way. The best game show host Omar Gaddafi has ever seen. Please subscribe. I've spent so much time and money on this video. This took me 22 days to make and it's eight minutes long.